Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. So, maraming salamat po at ako po ang kakalili muna ngayon kay Sir Z sa ating uh, Science Gate Quarter 3, uh, Quarter 4 Gate now. And so, ano po ang kumusta na po kayo dyan at maraming salamat po sa pagtuto kahit medyo mailan po ngayon at ako po muli ang tutor ranger po ang kakalili muna kay Sir Z sa ating Science Gate Quarter 4, So, patihin ko muna po ang mga masugid natin yung mga tagapanood. Uh, Mary Jane Opaila, good afternoon. Leia Sagot, maraming salamat sa panonood. Christina Agsunod, good afternoon din po. Mary Angeline Pugal, good afternoon po. Watching from the Al High School, Bakitabo, Hawe. Edita Guillermo Sagala, good afternoon sir. Ayan, so, hindi po kayo ulit nagkakamali. Ako po ito ulit, si Chuka Rainer, ang hahalili muna kay Sir Z para sa ating quarter 3, o quarter 4, rather, week number 3, para naman sa science. Okay, so ito po ang ating magiging um, module, galing po ito sa Schools Division of Metros Oriental, Region 7. I-share ko muna po ang ating screen. Share na po ba ang aking screen? Okay na po ba? Ayan. Maraming salamat po, Sir Ken, sa pag-agapay sa ating mga webinar uh, tutors for today. So ito po ang ating topic for Science 8 Quarter for the Cell Division, Mitosis, and Meiosis. So muli, pinapasalamatan ko po ang um, Region 7. SDO Negros Oriental para sa kanilang self-learning module na gagamitin natin para sa afternoon na ito. Okay, so this is the self-learning kit. And proceed na po tayo sa objectives. Meron po tayong tatlong objectives po dito. We have uh, describe the stages of cell division. Ito nga po, i-discuss natin ang mitosis and meiosis. Another objective is to compare the two types of cell division, the mitosis and meiosis. And for the third and the last objective, appreciate the role of cell division in growth and reproduction of organism. Maraming salamat po muli sa panunood, John Razel Manes, watching from Akabebe High School, a Humility. Thank you for watching. Uh, Michael D. Aquino, good afternoon. Ray Alexis Bakiran, happy watching. Gretchen Selmaro Ramirez, good afternoon, watching from New Canaan Integrated School, Alabel, Juan District, Sarangari Division. Wow. Kim Balilio Valdez, good afternoon po from Cadiz. Rhea Falconic-Dar, good afternoon. At yun na po yung mga nanonat po sa atin. Now, ano naman ang learning competencies natin for this week? Compare mitosis and meiosis and their role in the cell division cycle. Meron po itong code na. SHLT-4D-16 At makikita po natin na may figure po dito ng animal cell 
na na-discuss na po. And then, pusiga tayo dito sa first, what happened? Hello my dear students, today we are going to learn about cell division. Before we begin, let's review the basic parts of the cell and the structure of the chromosome and their location in the cell. Ready na po ba tayo? So, para po tayo makapag-participate sa ating talakayan, so you may now type your answer sa ating chat box or sa ating comment section and then babasahin ni Tutor Rainer yung mga uh, responses po ninyo. Okay, so dito muna tayo sa first basic cell parts. Draw and label the parts of animal cell. Identify the parts from the words present in the box below. Do this in your notebook. So, para maging interactive tayo, no? So, tayo po ay magta-type ng number at the same time your answer dito sa ating comment section. Ayan. So, dito muna tayo sa number 1. Okay. Medyo i-zoom ano natin, no? Para mas maliwanag at mas clear yung ating uh, picture. Okay, number 1. This one. Ito po. What do you call this cell structure or cell organelle itong number one give ko, give ko lang kayo ng clue this is the powerhouse of the cell so kindly type your answer magandang araw po present teacher in your present from SDO Mabalapat City Pampano hello uh, kapatid Mark Edward Sir Neil maraming salamat sa panonood good afternoon watching from Barakay Integrated School Davao City Division Cindy Cormilada Cell. Okay, so again, science 8 learners, ano po ang sagot natin dito sa number 1? This is somehow the powerhouse of the cell. It looks like para siyang cigar or parang cigarette doon sa loob ng cell. Hi, watching from uh, SS, ano ba ba? SS Braille National High School sa Tamarang Bula. Jamie Gornalia. Maraming sinamat sa panonood. Okay, number 1. Ito po. Ano po itong number one na to? It is the powerhouse of the cell. This is what we call the mitochondrion. Okay? Mitochondrion, singular mitochondria, plural. Okay, number two. Ito po, yung structure na to, yung bilog na to on the outer part of the cell. Ano pong tawag natin ito sa number two na yan? So, ito ang nagpo-protect us sa animal cell. At siya rin po ang nagbibigay po ng semi-permeability. Ibig sabihin, inaalaw niya ang mga mga nutrients at iba't ibang mga substances na pumapasok sa loob ng cell at lumalabas din sa animal cell. So, this is number two. If you know the answer, this is the cell membrane. Okay, the cell membrane. Next, number three. Ito po. Ayan, this one. This one. Watching from Rang Ayan National High School, City of Laga Division, Karen A. Adelan. Adelan, rather. Maraming salamat, Karen, sa panunod po. Ma'am Karen, or uh, nandiyan po kayo at na kikinig at nanonood sa ating Science 8, quarter 4, week 2. Ayan, ito po, number 3. This would be the, ito po, ano po ang tawag natin dito sa number 3? This is the Golgai body. Okay? Next, number four. Yung mga malilit na yan. Okay? The rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay? Dito po nanggagaling at ang site ng ating protein synthesis. Okay, next. Number five. Ito po. Ayan. Yung malilit na pilipilo. Diyan din po nanggagaling din po yung protein synthesis. So, this is ribosomes. And next, number 6. Ito po, number 6. Itong maliit na bilog nito, nasa gitna. Ayan, nare-review rin po ako, no? Kasi ito rin po yung dating naging topic din namin. Way back, grade 8. Pero, I am teaching grade 9 for past uh, 6 years. And currently, I'm teaching grade 10. Ayan, umahalili lang po kay Sir Z. Okay, number 6. Ito po, ang sagot natin dito ay nucleus. The nucleus is somehow the central processing unit of the cell. Next, number 7. Ayan, ito pong 7. Dito naman sa 7 yung ipunan po ng mga mm, waste material somehow ng cell. 
So, dito po sa 7, ang sagot dito ay hanapin natin sa dito po. Ayan, the vesicles. Okay. Next, meron pa bang number 8? Ayan, wala na. No? 1, again, uh, review natin. This is the mitochondrion. Number 2, cell membrane. 3, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, uh, rather, number number 3 is the Golgi body. 4 is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Number 5 is the ribosomes, the site of protein synthesis. Number 6, the nucleus. And 7, the what we call the vesicles. Or somehow tawag din dito, vacuum. Okay, we're done with one, the pre-activities for basic cell parts. Now, we're going to have this, the structure of the chromosome and its location in the cell. Study the pictures of chromosomes below and answer the questions that follow. Write the answer in your notebook. Okay. So, ano lang po natin? Palaki lang natin po yung picture. Ayan. Okay po. So, this one, okay. So, medyo malit lang po yung sa pagka-print. Now, this is figure 2, chromosomes and its part. Okay. Sana malakihan pa natin. Okay. So, as you can see, this is a chromosome. Okay. Meron siya mga basic part, the cell membrane. Ito po yun, no? Pinapa-zoom lang dito. We have the nucleus and the chromosome. Siyempre, inside the nucleus, we can found the chromosomes. And then, kung lalakyan po natin yung portion ng mismong chromosomes, ito lang po siya. This is the chromatids. Nakita po natin dito, no? And then, we have the centromere, which is the center part of the chromosome. And, of course, the DNA. The DNA. Uh, kindly type, what is DNA? What does DNA stands for? Kung alam niya po, pakitype niya po yung uh, sagot dito sa ating uh, comment section. Ano po ibig sabihin ng DNA? Tignan nga natin kung may sasagot po dito sa ating comment section. So habang hinihintay ko po yung response about DNA, dito naman yung organization of chromosome. As you can see po, science aid learners, meron tayo dito arms of chromosomes. Ito. We have the P-arm or the primary arm. And then the centromere, yung pinakagitna, the Q-arm and the DNA. So, this is the organization of chromosome based on the picture itself. Again, so the DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Isa siyang nucleic acid na may, syempre, na meron siyang uh, deoxyribose na type of sugar. Itong particular na topic na to, for more details, na-discuss na rin namin ito. Third quarter po na grade 10. Ayan. So, meron dito mga guide questions. What are chromosomes? Number two, where are chromosomes located in the cell? Number three, the short arm of the chromosome is referred to as black. Number four, the long arm of the chromosome is referred to as black. And number five, the point of attachment of the two sister chromatids is called black. Okay. Now, okay, iiwan ko lang po dito yung mga sagot o mga questions natin dito sa ating basic cell parts at sa structure of the chromosomes and its location in the cell. Okay, let's move now to second part ng ating SLM, what I need to know. So let me read. Let's give attention to the different stages of cell division, the mitosis and the meiosis. But before that, let's get to know more about the chromosome. Ayan. So nakita natin, science aid learners, meron tayo dito ng... Um, illustration about the chromosome. Ayan. So let me read lang po. All living things contain what we call the genetic material that serves as the set of instructions that direct the activities and functions of the cells. This genetic materials, also known as the deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA, are passed on from one generation to the next to ensure that the community of life and in eukaryotic cells, what we call the cells with organelles, the DNA are bound with protein histones and are organized as beads on strings to form chromosomes. The number of chromosomes in a cell is characteristics of a species to which it belongs. For example, humans have 46 chromosomes while rice have 12. So meron tayong 46 chromosomes at sinasabi nga natin we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. That's why uh, ang 
total niya ay 46. Nakikita natin dito yung mismo structure ng ating DNA. So DNA is a double helix na structure po niya. At parang ano na, pakita natin na ang ganda ng kanyang structure. Ito kasi yung kanyang three-dimensional figure ng DNA. Makikita din natin ang iba't iba pang parts ng DNA. Merong nucleosome. At yung pinaka-basic sa pinaka-maliit na part niya is the chromosome. At makikita natin na nakakoil ang DNA at meron po itong mga tinatawag natin na histones. Okay? Now, let's move to the cell cycle. Ito kasi yung ating isa sa mga basic uh, lesson na nagbibigil po sa ating most essential learning competencies. The cell cycle. The chromosomes of a cell change from as the cell transitions from one stage to another in a typical cell cycle. The cell cycle may be divided into two stages. Remember, ha, science teachers, the interface where the chromosomes are long and extended and are also referred to as chromatin. And the cell division phase where the chromosomes become condensed and thicken. Ayan, may nanonood pa rin pala. Good afternoon po watching from Inside National High School of Inside Danao City. Maraming salamat sa panonood, Eileen Patuka. Maraming salamat po. Good afternoon po uh, watching, Andrea Lynn Colliates, Great 8, Bonifacio, watching from Ginsai National High School, Danao City, Province of Cebu. Uh, Maraming salamat po. Eileen Lapuos, watching from uh, Tatas National High School. And Marie Christine Lau, watching from Ginsai National High School. Giro Gabriel Yedra, good afternoon po, watching from Natatas National High School, Tanawan City. R.S. Kabiling, good afternoon, watching from Makabebe High School. Good afternoon po, Dwight Cyril Nanguido, grade 8, maagap, watching from Daragutan East National High School, SDO, Isabela. And good afternoon po, watching from Pulo National High School, Marisa Lopez. Yan, maraming salamat po sa pagtutok. Okay, so let's go back po sa ating cell cycle. Nahati po ito sa different phases. Okay? So, meron po tayo muna na interface. Ayan. So, ano bang usually na nangyayari sa interface? So, dito tayo. The interface refers to the period that follows one cell division and proceeds another. This stage is divided into three sub-stages. The first gap or period is what we call the G1. Take note. The first gap is the G1. Okay? During this time, the cell grows initially. So, dito na lumalaki po yung cell. And then, yung middle stage niya, this is what we call the S1 or the synthesis stage. This is the period of the DNA synthesis or what we call the DNA replication. Na kung saan, yung mga chromosomes naman ay nag-replicate or nag-replicate, tumadami, tumadami. And the second gap period is what we call the G2, which is uh, what we call the representation of period of rapid cell growth to which prepared the cell division. Again, balik tayo. Yung first gap or the G1 is doon nag-start lumaki or nag-grow na yung cell. After which, magkakaroon ng middle stage. This is what we call the synthesis stage or the S1. And the last or the second gap is the G2 na kung saan yung uh, rapid cell growth nangyayari na. Para naman po in preparation for the cell division. Now, alternating with interface is the cell division phase na. So after letter I or the interface, papasok na ngayon tayo sa cell division. Mostly in eukaryotic cells, meron tayong two types ng cell division. Yung una, what we call the mitosis, and the second one is the meiosis. So, differentiate mo natin siya by sa isa. So, first one is the mitosis. This type of cell division occur in somatic or body cells. Again, somatic or body cell, in which produces two identical cells with one same number of chromosomes. And mitosis is divided into four, take note, four stages as shown in the diagram below. So, pakita natin. Ayan. Now, meron tayong usual na binibigay po na mnemonic device para maintindihan natin at ma-remember natin, makabisado natin yung mitosis. So, binibigay ko sa mga sadyante ko, PMAT, P-M-A-T. So, PMAT stands for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and Telophase. So, ito yung PMAT ng mitosis. So, discuss muna natin. Now, sa mitosis, siyempre, kailangan muna natin ng parent cell. So, parent cell. Kaya, parent cell. Now, sa parent cell, dito na mag-start 
after ng interface, saka na tayo magpo-proceed sa mitosis, which includes four different phases. The first is the prophase. The first and the longest phase of mitosis is the prophase. During prophase, the chromatin condenses into chromosomes or double-stranded sister chromatids and the nuclear envelope or membrane breaks down in animal cell and the central near the nucleus begin to separate and move to opposite pole sides of the cell. As the central moves, the spindle fiber starts to form between them. So to make it short, itong prophase na to, ito yung pinakauna at ang pinakamahabang phase ng mitosis na kung saan yung chromatin niya ay magko-condense kasi uti-uti na itong uh, maghihiwalay later. And then this prophase ay mag start na siyang pumunta sa susunod na phase. So after prophase, the metaphase. Yung picture ng metaphase, eto naman. So makita natin, yung mga chromosomes ay pupunta na yan mamaya sa gitna sa pinaka yung tinatawag na equatorial region ng cell sa gitna siya. And then may mga spindle fiber na hihila sa kanya dito. Let me read sa metaphase. No? During metaphase, the spindle fiber attached to the centromere of each part of the sister chromatids. The sister chromatids line up at the equator or the center of the cell. Inabagito kanina. This is also known as the metaphase clip. The spindle fiber ensure that the sister chromatids will separate and go to different daughter cells when the cells divide or when the cell divides. Now, balik tayo. So, itong mga chromatids na to, sa mga chromosomes na to, ay uti-uti pong pupunta ng gitna. So, mapupunta sa equatorial region. And then, yung spindle fiber po ay naka-connect pa dun sa mga sister chromatids mamaya. Okay. So, dun muna tayo. Pagatlong phase is the anaphase. Ito naman yung picture niya. Papapansin natin, no, na nag-separate na yung dalawa at nahati na po yung chromosome. Kung, kung ito po yun, no, mga uti-uti po silang hihilahin at poles. Pupunta sila, it's either left to right, o kaya misa nakagawin yung orientation pataas at sa bawa. So let me read. During anaphase, sister chromatids separate and the centromeres divide. The sister chromatids are pulled apart by shortening of the spindle fibers. This is like reeling in a fish by shortening the fish, fishing line. So parang kung baga kung naniningwit daw tayo ng isla, pag di ba yung uh, yung uh, lubid, ay hindi naman lubid, no? parang tali na gusto natin uh, iksiin para makuha natin yung fish, ganun yung nangyayari sa anaphase. Yung spindle fiber, hinihila niya na yung chromatids. Now, yung sister chromatids are being pulled apart by shortening of the spindle fiber. And this is when sister chromatid moves to one pole of the cell and the other side of the sister chromatid moves to the opposite pole. At the end, the anaphase, each pole of the cell has complete set of chromosomes. Balik tayo. Kung kanina sa metaphase, yung mga chromatids po nasa gitna. And then, hihilain siya during anaphase na ng spindle fiber on the opposite poles, towards opposite poles. And then, magkakaroon na tuloy ng complete set ng chromosomes on the left or the right o kaya up and down. And the last one is the telophase. During telophase, the, the chromosomes begin to uncoil. So, pag sinabing uncoil, kung baga kung nakakoil siya, mawawala ulit yung pagkabuhol niya. And form chromatin. This prepares the genetic material for directing the metabolic activities of the new cells. And the spindle also breaks down. And the new nuclear membrane or the new nuclear envelope form, eventually dividing the cytoplasm to form two daughter cells in the form what we call the cytogenesis. Kung titignan natin yung telophase, ayan, nagkakaroon po ng tinatawag natin na uh, borrowing o tinatawag natin na cleavage na kung saan unti-unti nang maghihiwalay yung mismong nabuong mga chromosomes at sila po ang magiging daughter cells. At sila po ay pupunta na sa proseso ng tinatawag natin na cytokinesis o yung nag-divide na po yung cell. Okay, so kung medyo mabilis, balikan na natin. Una, sa ating cell division, bago mag-cell division, pasok muna sa interface. Yung interface po, papasok muna dito sa, syempre, the G1 o yung GAP1. Tapos sa synthesis, 
Tapos yung gap to receive. Etong interface na to, papasok na yun siya sa mitosis. Sa mitosis naman lahat isa apat. Tima, yung prophase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. Si prophase po yung pinakamahabang phase ng mitosis, yung mga uh, chromosomes ay nandun lang siya. No? Ano siya, mag, uh, mag-prepare siya para doon sa metaphase. Now, yung sa metaphase naman, pupunta sa gitna, tandaan, yung dalawa, yung mga chroma, ano, chromosomes at mag-prepare po ito para mahati. Maya, maya. Doon naman sa metaphase, yung spindle fiber, hinihila na ngayon yung ating mga chromosomes at mahati na siya. Pagdating sa anaphase, yun na, nag-separate na. At sa telophase naman, nagkaroon na siya ng sarili niya nuclear membrane. At ito na nga yung tinatawag natin na daughter cells na galing sa mga parent cells. Okay, tignan natin. May questions po ba kayo regarding po sa ating uh, mitosis? So kung wala po, basa lang muna po ako dito ng mga responses or kung meron mga pagbati. Josephine Sumabalgasan, good afternoon, watching from Mako Heights, CES. Yeah. Good afternoon po, Rowena Alburo, Great Aid Bonifacio, watching from Ginsay National High School, Dano City, Province of Cebu. Maayong, ano ba, maayong uh, hapon sa inyong tanan. Okay, good afternoon po, Jomari um, Magaynon Sagun, watching from Nueva Ecija. Sandy Rose Misones, good afternoon po, watching from New Canaan Integrated School, Alabel 1 District, Division of Sarangani. Marami tayong mga tagapanood dyan po sa Division ng Sarangani. Watching from MNHS, Kalawag Extension, Wean, Tabangay, Arupan, and Trisha Valerie Martel, Ginsay National High School, Dano City, Province of Cebu. Marami salamat. Good afternoon din sa panunod. Okay. So let's move now sa meiosis. So actually, ang pagkakaiba lang naman ng mitosis sa meiosis, sa meiosis may two parts. Merong meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. At the same time, sa meiosis naman, ito ang special type ng cell division na nangyayari sa mga pinatawag natin na gametes o yung mga sex cells. Sa egg cells, para sa babae, at sperm cell naman sa babae. So let, let me read niya. So meiosis is a special type of cell division where a sex cell, egg cell for Uh, female and sperm cell for male or gamete undergoes two rounds of cell division to produce four daughter cells. Again, four. Kung kanina po ang mitosis, it produces two daughter cells. Dito naman sa meiosis, it produces four daughter cells. Why four? Tingnan natin kung bakit apat. And then the original parent cell with a unique set of genetic material as a result of exchange of the chromosome segment. So meron tong unique set of genetic material as a result of exchange of chromosome segments. Ayan. So itin natin, no, meron ulit, syempre lahat naman ng uh, reproduction mag start sa parent cell. So the parent cell, ito po, uh, aside sa, uh, syempre, sa uh, sexual reproduction, no? yun yung kanyang ano po, pagkakaiba. So, we are talking about sexual reproduction. So, parent cell, now, kung mag-undergo po ito ng meiosis 1, babalik ulit ito sa PMAP. So, prophase 1. During prophase 1, in meiosis 1, the chromosomes in this phase begin to pair off as homologous or exactian. Again, when you say homologous, ito po yung magkapareho po ng chromosome. And meron itong magkapareho po ng karakteristik. In exact pair. The chromosome contract due to repeated coiling. Crossing over takes place during the stage when a segment of sister chromatid of one chromosome is exchanged with the same segment of the sister chromatid of the homologous chromosome through formation of cross-link segment. So itong sinasabi dito na basic concept ay madidiscuss ito sa grade 10. Nagkakaroon ng crossing over. Meaning, yung isang chromosome na may specific the DNA or characteristic nagko-crossover sa, pan- sa pangalawa or sa kabila. So, yun po yung sinasabing crossing over. Now, uh, kung titin natin dito, after crossing over, the sister chromatids of each chromosome may no longer be identical, while each other based on the genetic material they contain. So, di katulad kasi sa meiosis, um, kung ano man yung daughter say, ay kung ano yung parents say, yun din yung lalabas ng daughter say. Pero dito sa ating, ano po, sa ating uh, meiosis, Diba? So, unique ang lumalabas na karakteristik. Okay, let's move. Sa metaphase 1, the paired chromosome arrange themselves in equatorial plane. 
ito healthy. So, nag-move na naman siya pagkit na sa equatorial region kasi gagawa siya ng equatorial plate. Next, spindle fibers, ha, na-face na tayo. Spindle fibers form and attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes and the homologous chromosomes separates from each other completely and start their movement towards the pole of the cell as they pull by the spindle fiber. As the centromere or centromere of each cent chromosome does not divide, the sister chromatids remain together. Yeah. In the telophase, this is the last stage of the chromosome when chromosomes reach their respective poles. Nandiyan na sa pinakadulo. Ito po. Okay. Now, cytokinesis follows and the two daughter cells are formed. Each cell has now half of the chromosome number because only one chromosome from each pair goes to the daughter cell. This is called the haploid. In condition, the contrast to diploid condition of the beginning of meiosis 1 where each chromosome pair is intact. Telophase is followed by interphase 2. Again, so again po ah, dito po sa ating meiosis, of course merong interphase 1. And then papasok yung meiosis 1, yung PMAT 1, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and the telophase 1. So sa telophase, ito po, magkakaroon po ito ng two daughter cells. At yung two daughter cells, papasok ulit sa interphase 2, and papasok ulit sa meiosis 2. At babalik ulit sa prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, kung saan, magkakaroon na po ito ng four daughter cells. Bakit four? Kasi yung bawat uh, faces sa uh, tandaan po natin, na meron dito sa left at meron dito sa right. So, dalawa na dito ang nabubuo. Dalawa din po sa kanan. So, two plus two, that is four. So, four daughter cells ang mabubuo pagkatapos ng meiosis 2. Okay. Tignan po natin, let's apply para makasalad din po tayo sa time. Complete the table below and copy and answer in your notebook. Check po natin. Number of daughter cells in mitosis. Tignan natin po sa ating comment section. Ah, Nalobat na rin pala ako. Okay. Sa mitosis, number of daughter cells ay dalawa. Number of daughter cells sa mitosis, dalawa. Sa meiosis, number of daughter cells ay apat. Okay, apat. Pakicharge. Pakicharge. Uh, sinabihan ko yung anak ko, pakicharge yung set. Okay, next. Daughter cells po sa mitosis, dalawa. And number of daughter cells produce sa meiosis, apat. Okay. And sa amin po ngayon, umuulan. Kung saan naman din po sa inyo. Sana po maganda ang internet connection natin. No? Sana hindi tayo makat. Okay. Ayan. Next. Number of chromosomes have sa meiosis po, yes. Okay, yes. Kasi talagang have siya. Pairing of homologous chromosomes takes place sa meiosis, yes. The daughter cells produced are always identical in terms of genetic material. Mitosis, yes. Sa meiosis, no. Kasi unique ang nabubuo sa meiosis. Ayan. Oops, nandito na pala tayo sa post-test. Okay. Tignan natin kung merong pre-test po dito sa ating SLM. Balikan lang po natin. Baka hindi ko lang po napansin. Ah, wala. So, from learning competencies, diretso na agad sa pre-activities. Okay. So, kung may question po, balikan lang po natin. Uh, we still have few minutes to go bago mag-20. Ayan po. So, tandaan po natin na ang... Um, Ganitong klaseng division na kung saan yung mitosis 1, ito po, ito po, balikan natin. Sa mitosis 1, o mitosis rather, wala po mitosis 1. Sa mitosis, ito po nangyayari po sa mga somatic cells or body cells. Take note ha, yun po yung mga basic difference. Para naman sa meiosis, na may meiosis 1 at meiosis 2, nangyayari naman po yun sa mga gametes or detail nating mga sex cells para sa babae at sa lalaki. Okay. And then, Yan, post this. Which of the following parts of the cell contains the chromosome? A, cytoplasm, B, mitochondrion, C, uh, cell membrane, or D, nucleus. So, ano kaya sagot natin dito? Which of the following parts of the cell contains the chromosome? 
The answer is number one, letter D, nucleus. So, makita po natin ang mga chromosomes sa loob or inside the nucleus. Kasi sa nucleus, nandito na talaga ang tinatawag natin na uh, central part of the cell o yung parang directing part of the cell. Ito yung talagang nagko-control at nagbibigay po ng genetic material sa ating katawan. Number two, chromosomes are made up of lang. A, RNA protein, B, DNA and protein, C, DNA, uh, C, protein only, or D, DNA only. And ano po sagot natin dyan? Chromosomes are made up of RNA and protein, DNA and protein, C, protein only, D, DNA only. Okay, so let me check. It's either D, DNA and protein or DNA only. Okay, next number three. Why is there a need for DNA to replicate during the synthesis stage of the interface? Bakit daw kailangan ng DNA na mag-replicate o mag-replicate during the synthesis stage of the interface? A. To make sure that the cell undergoes cell division. B. To make sure that when cell divides, each daughter cell has an exact copy of DNA. C. To make sure that the number of chromosomes will be exactly same as in original cell. And D, to make sure that the cell grow rapidly. Ano po ang ano natin? Kung babalikan po natin dito sa interface, no? Ayan, para mag-review rin po tayo. Dito po sa interface, binabanggit na kami ka na kung nabasa po natin. Okay, ito po. The interface refers to the period that follows one cell division and proceeds. And, uh, precedes another. This stage is divided into three sub-stages. The first gap, period or G1, the middle stage is the S1, and the, and the second gap, G2, represents the period of uh, rapid cell growth to repair cell division. Okay. Pero my answer here dito no, sa ating post is Ayan. To make sure that the number of chromosomes will be exactly the same in original cells. Letter C. Okay, kasi kailan kopyahin niyo talaga yung uh, genetic material po na daughters, uh, ng parent cell rather. Number four. What events take place when cell undergoes cytokinesis? A. There is growth of nucleus. B. It's a period of replication. C. There is a division of the cytoplasm. There is a reappearance of the nuclear membrane. Pag sinabi natin cytokinesis, ito na yung pagkatapos ng tinatawag natin na telophase. Yung telophase kasi nagkaroon na siya ng sarili niyang nuclear membrane tapos nagkakati. Okay. So this is the... Um, there is a growth of nucleus. Nagkaroon ulit ng panibagong nucleus. Okay? Next, number five. The following characteristics below describe meiosis. Except, there are four daughter cells produced. Remember yung word na except. The number of chromosomes in every daughter cell is haploid. The daughter cells are genetically identical with the original cell. And the cell undergo two rounds of cell division. Ayan. So, the answer here is C. The daughter cells are genetically identical with the original cell. Kasi usually pwede po itong ginagda. Ayan. So, ito number of number 6 to 10. During interface, how many chromosomes are there? Ito 4. Dito sa interface, yan. How many daughter cells are produced? How many chromosomes are there in each daughter cell? Tingnan natin kung meron pa sa baba. Ayan, may post test at may sagot na rin sa Ilalim. Okay, so it's 2.20, okay? Maraming pong salamat sa pagtutok sa ating uh, Itulay Science uh, 8, Quarter 4, Week 2. Uh, on behalf of Sir C, ako po itong muli si Tutor Rainier na humalili po para sa kanya. Maraming salamat po at meron pa po tayong Science Night at Science Night. Maraming salamat po. Goodbye.
ठीक है